Sometimes the messier it is, the more fun we're having. Just as long as it stays outside and doesn't end up in your truck. Husky Liners Weather Beater Floor Liners are sporty and rugged, and they're precision measured to perfectly fit the interior of your floorboard, offering you the ultimate in protection. Since 1988, Husky Liners have been proudly made in the USA and come with a no-hassle, no-guff lifetime guarantee. So order yours today. Husky Liners, guaranteed for life. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Simon. And howdy, I'm Mark Newberger. We're the inventors of the original and patented vehicle seat gap filler, Drop Stop. We're here today to show you how to install your very own Drop Stop in your vehicle. Mark is going to walk you through a very simple step-by-step -step installation process. So with no further delay, Mark, take it away. Please step into my office. Now, the first and most important step to installing your Drop Stop, the number one step is to put this seat back, this part of your seat, all the way back like this to where it's almost flat. If you don't do this, it makes it very difficult to install. And as you can see, it opens up the gap area and makes it very easy to get your hands down. Also notice I'm sitting in the opposite seat. If you sit in the same seat you're installing in, your butt's gonna push that seat cushion up against the gap and make it also very difficult to install. Now, the next step is to use Drop Stop's patented seat belt slot. Right here, goes around the seat belt, just like this. So that's the first thing. You push your hands like this all the way down so you get it all the way to the bottom of that belt. Then, because drop stop's squishy and stretchy, you stretch it, you pull it tight all the way from the front like this. And while it's tight, you push it down like this and make it super streamlined. Push it down in the back, put the seat back, back up, and just like that in seconds, you're never dropping anything again. And it moves back and forth with your seat because it's always attached to that belt. Thank you so much for your support. And remember, don't drop and drive.
Another day, another 100 miles on the road. I feel like I live out of this car. And because I travel a lot, my car used to look like this. I know, it's a mess. No matter what I tried, my car just always ended up trashed. The phone would ring and I'd go nuts trying to figure out where it ended up. And of course, the boss is never too happy if I keep him waiting. Then there's the problem of what to do when you need to carry all this stuff with you. I usually end up spilling my coffee over everything. And don't even talk to me about what happens when my wife drives the car. I never realized how much stuff could fit in that one little purse. That's when I realized I needed professional help. And I found it. It's called CarPack. And it's the best organizational tool I've ever used. Just look at this amazing product. It has compartments and sections to hold everything you need and use. Phone, receipts, GPS, hand sanitizer, tools, iPad or laptop, notebook, sunglasses, bottled water, pens, tissues, umbrella, jacket, folders, and more. And my wife is much happier when her pocketbook stays securely in the car pack. Now here's the really cool thing about the car pack. It makes it easy to carry stuff from your car. You can close it and it becomes a great way to transport all the things you need most in one convenient case. Let me show you how easy it is to install this. First, buckle the seat belt. Then secure the car pack to the belt by inserting the belt into the back flap and closing the flap on the Velcro. Then use the strap on the lid of the car pack to buckle around the headrest and finally, slide the shoulder harness in front of the car pack. Easy setup in a minute. That's it. Organizer, carrying case, declutterer. Just fantastic. Pick one up for yourself and for your wife, girlfriend, boss, husband, anyone who drives a car. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to Detail Garage. On this episode, we have a Shagadelic Shaguar here in the Detail Garage that needs to be cleaned up. Now, I'm just working on the wheels, almost done, and as soon as I finish here, I'm gonna show you guys how to use a brand new Torque foam blaster. Oh, and uh, in case you didn't know what show you're watching, we got an extra sign. <laughs> Now today we're showing you how to set up your brand new Torque Foam Blaster Foam Gun. This is a great tool for any enthusiast or professional detailer who wants to add a lot of extra foamy suds to the car wash without investing in an expensive pressure washer to use a foam cannon. Foam cannon uses high pressure water to spray thick shaving cream level foam over a vehicle. With a foam gun, you can keep up with the big boys. You can spray tons of soapy slick suds to help avoid installing any swirls or scratches during a car wash. And all you need to use your foam gun it's a standard garden hose that attaches straight on to the end of the garden hose. Now, with your Torque foam gun, the new Torque Foam Blaster foam gun has improved internals and an improved nozzle for extra foamy suds with less soap. And it's more efficient. You get more pressure out of a standard garden hose with the improved nozzle, which also has some refined components to help resist corrosion to promote the longevity of the unit. Now, the uh, nozzle you can use it by itself just to rinse down the car. It attaches to the foam gun with a quick release system. So you snap it on so you can use it to spray foam or just rinse the car down before or after the wash. Now the nozzle itself also comes with a quick, <laughs> quick. The nozzle itself also comes with a quick release system. Now, uh, if you can't attach this to your hose, you can simply unscrew it. But if you do have your own type of a shutoff valve with a quick release system, you can simply snap it in so you can switch between different types of nozzles without shutting off the hose at the spigot. So I'll just set that down. Now I'll attach the foam blaster nozzle right onto my garden hose. There we go. Now I'm ready to start rinsing down the car and washing the car and I can foam it whenever I'm ready. So to set up your foam blaster, all you need to do is fill it up with some water. I've already pre-filled the 32 ounce soap solution bottle with water. Now you fill it up with 
32 ounces of water, and you can add one to three ounces of your favorite car wash soap. So today I'm gonna to be using Mr. Pink. This is my favorite car wash soap. I'm just gonna add two ounces because this car actually has a pretty thick layer of dust on it. I don't wanna scratch anything as I go. So after you add your soap, reattach the top of the foam cannon. Just give it a quick shake just to mix up all the soap solution in the bottle. Now the torque has a dial on the top. This just helps you uh, choose the uh, amount of foam, the thickness of the foam as you're spraying. So, so all you need to do is turn this knob as you're spraying the foam until you get the uh, required thickness and amount of foam to suit your needs. So I have my two bucket system set up here. I'm gonna wash the car. I don't wanna install any extra swirls or scratches. I have the second bucket to rinse off any dirt from the wash mitt before I get extra soap. I also have my dirt trap wash screens. This is gonna help me separate any dirt out from the wash water. Again, just to help guard against installing any extra swirls or scratches by dragging any of that loose dirt back across the paintwork. Now, just like that, you fill up your buckets with water, and then you insert the dirt trap all the way at the bottom. Now, I have different colored dirt traps. That just helps me separate between my wash bucket and my rinse bucket or a wheel bucket. You can use any system you want as long as you keep it straight. Now, I'll just add one to three ounces of Mr. Pink in the soap bucket. I'll just use two. Now, I'll suds up the bucket with a nozzle. There we go. And I have a bear claw wash pad just to help me wash the car in a gentle way without installing any scratches as I go. And you can see this holds tons of soap and tons of suds. So now that I have all this set up, I need to just rinse down the car. So I'm going to rinse down the car to help loosen any of the stuck on grime and just rinse away any of the loose dirt that's on the surface. Now you want to rinse a car from top to bottom. This car actually has a convertible top, so I'm going to avoid the fabric top as best as I can. It's okay to get it a little bit wet, but I'm just going to avoid saturating the top of the water. I'm going to clean that later on with the convertible top cleaner and a brush. So I'm going to start just by rinsing the paintwork from the top down to the bottom of the car. Now that the car is rinsed down, I'm ready to start foaming down the car for an extra slick, extra safe wash on the vehicle. Now I just come over, grab my torque foam gun, pull back the quick release barb here, and snap the foam gun right in. And just like that, the foam gun is attached. You can just give it a quick test to make sure it's not gonna fall off. And now as I start spraying foam on the car, I'm gonna turn the dial until I get the perfect thickness of foam. So you can see starting from here, it's pretty thin. You turn the dial a few clicks until you start getting some thicker foam all over the car. That does mean you are using more soap per gallon of water flowing through the hose, but uh, if you need extra lubrication, this is the safest way to do things. Another way you can use this foam gun, you can pull off the front nozzle. You notice it kind of has a little plus shape in here, so you can have it spray foam in a vertical pattern like if you need to cover a whole side of a car quickly, or you can have it spray in a horizontal pattern if you need to cover a lot of flat areas in a fast way. Either way is fine. You can use whichever way suits your needs. I'm gonna go with a vertical pattern. Now, as far as actually foaming down the car, there's a couple different methods detailers like to use. They either like to foam down the entire car at once and then start wiping with a mitt, or you can actually spray the foam gun directly into the mitt with every wipe. That gives you the most lubrication per swipe. If you're dealing with an extra sensitive surface or a very dark car, you don't want to show any swirls after you wash the car. This car actually has a fairly durable vinyl wrap. I'm not too worried about it and there's not a lot of dirt on the car to begin with. So I'm just going to foam down the whole car and then wipe it with a mitt as usual to help remove all this dirt without installing any swirls or scratches in the vinyl wrap.
So now we're moving on to the car wash with the full detail on this Jaguar. Now I'm going to be using the Bear Claw Wash Pad. Actually wipe off all the dirt, grime, and debris without installing any swirls or scratches. As you can see, this synthetic lamb's wool mitt is extremely absorbent. It holds tons of soap, tons of suds, and a lot of soap. So as I wipe gently across the surface, I'm not going to install any scratches in the painted finish or any vinyl wraps like we have on this Jaguar. Now I'm wiping in one direction and the lamb's wool mitt actually helps pick up and trap any abrasive dirt particles in the synthetic fur. So the bear claw will actually help pick up and hold the dirt away from the surface so I'm not going to scratch anything as I clean the car. Now it's easy to grip, it has two big sides so I can easily wipe down a lot of the surface of the vehicle with one pass and now that the mitt is saturated with dirt and the surface is clean I'll come over to my second bucket here that's filled with just plain water and I'll scrub the mitt directly on the dirt trap surface so this is pushing the dirt out from the fibers underneath the dirt trap so when I pull it out it's nice and clean and this to help purge any last minute dirt from the system I'll just wring out the mitt on the ground so when I come back to the soap bucket I have no dirt and no abrasive particles in the wash mitt. Now I'll continue washing the whole car as normal with the Bear Claw wash pad. <laughs> So now you see how easy it is to turn any car wash or full detail into a fun foam party using the Torque Foam Blaster Foam Gun. Now you don't need any special equipment, you don't need any pressure washers. All you need to use a foam gun is your normal garden hose. Simply attach the nozzle, attach the foam gun, and then you're ready to spray your car with tons of soapy suds to avoid installing any swirls and any scratches. So if you want to learn more about the Torque Foam Blaster Foam Gun, you can check it out on the Chemical Guys website. Links are right below in the description. If you want to learn more top detailing tips and tricks from the professionals, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 900 videos showing you how to do just about anything. You got a nice car? Let's keep it clean with Chemical Guys. Whenever you install a new brake caliper, you should pay attention to the following. Double check the caliper guide pins for proper torque. It's important to tighten the caliper guide pin slide bolts to your vehicle manufacturer's recommended torque specification prior to completing the installation. If your kit doesn't include a caliper bracket, be sure to clean the original bracket thoroughly with brake parts cleaner and lubricate the guide pins with high temp caliper grease. Use a brass wire brush and brake parts cleaner to remove any accumulated rust and or brake pad residue from the bracket and install new abutment clips when applicable. Some applications may call for replacing the brake hose to caliper crush washer. A new crush washer creates a tight seal that prevents leaks. Check your vehicle service manual. Double check the rubber dust boots that cover the base of the guide pins. Damaged or unsecured dust boots allow lubricant to escape and debris to enter resulting in premature wear of guide pins. Use high temp grease to lubricate the abutment clips in the areas where the brake pad backing plate makes contact. Bleed your brake lines according to your vehicle service manual. Brake calipers have small orifices within them that can get clogged by debris that has accumulated in the system. Poorly maintained brake fluid absorbs moisture from the atmosphere over time, which can cause rust to form. Bleeding the brake lines prior to installing new calipers removes the accumulated water and debris, which ensures proper function and maximum performance from your brakes. Check your car's service manual for the recommended torque specifications and double check all fasteners. Be sure to pay special attention to bolts that call for thread locker. High temp thread locker fluid or paste is often used on these critical fasteners to ensure that they do not back out due to extreme stresses that brakes are subject to. Excessive heat, vibration, and torque can cause caliper bolts to come loose if they are not properly treated and torqued before use. PowerStop supplies all hardware and brake lubricant with each caliper and brake kit where applicable. Visit PowerStop.com for more helpful tips on your performance upgrade brake kit.
Dodge Rain Barrier offers easy to use, 100% waterproof indoor and outdoor protection. It is proven to protect against the heaviest downpours as well as UV rays, snow, pollen, dust, and dirt. This cover is constructed from a three layer material consisting of inside and outside layers of spun bonded polypropylene with a waterproof and breathable film center layer. Unlike most other waterproof covers, the Rain Barrier's micropore film technology is breathable and permits condensation to escape as evaporated gas. This allows the cover to be 100% waterproof while preventing mold or mildew from growing under the cover, giving your vehicle superior protection. This cover includes a full elastic hem for a great fit and scratch-proof built-in grommets so that you can easily tie down your cover in windy conditions. Gray or tan in color and includes a storage bag, antenna patch, and a seven-year warranty. The Rain Barrier is available in a wide selection of sizes that will fit cars, trucks, SUVs, vans, and station wagons. We all want to keep an eye on our children when we are in our cars. The Shine Arc Baby Car Mirror can help you do just that. It's like having a baby monitor in the car with you. The Shine Arc Baby Car Mirror has a lightweight design. It is made with an impact resistant acrylic safety glass, surrounded by a black curved ABS plastic frame. In the event of a crash or accident, you can ensure your baby is safe due to its shatterproof design. The mirror is simple and quick to install. The black polymer plastic holds the mirror tightly in place. The easy to fit mirror attaches in seconds to the rear seat headrest. The mirror is equipped with adjustable nylon straps, making it compatible with most vehicles. It rotates 360 degrees for a clear view at your desired viewing angle. Because of the wide angle mirror design, it always allows you to have full sight of your precious infant when they are in a rear facing baby seat. With a lifetime satisfaction guarantee, if you or your precious cargo are not 100% satisfied, simply return it for a full refund at any time.